I am asking about this, don't you? Sure I do. Same reason those young men of yours came over to speak to me. You all read in the newspaper where Mueller reported a probable killing to me 43 years ago. Was he telling the truth? Because he told me lies. The only testimony that could count here, Bill, is a dead man's remains, if science could cause those remains to speak. Well, uh, uh, Nate, we, we, we weren't fixing to prosecute, you know, in the ordinary sense. It's just that, uh, listen, is it true that great thoughts come in small books? Yeah. And in this little book is the greatest thought of all. There's no other thought that can give you such complete comfort. Uh, can I tell you what it is? You certainly can. If you want forgiveness, all you need to do is ask for it. Believing in him who alone can give it. This is where I relax. This is my art gallery where I spend a lot of my time painting. I do a lot of different types of paintings. I do a lot of watercolors and oils. Burt Reynolds had a showing for me when I was doing, uh, uh, when I was produced on Gator. And uh, we were down in Savannah, Georgia. And uh, uh, actually, uh, we shot in Conyers, Georgia, where, where uh, Dukes of Hazzard was shot, believe it or not, on Gator. And while we were down there, I did a lot of paintings. And uh, these, these are some of the inspirational points that I saw all through the South. I've traveled all over the South. I love the South, of course. I paint mostly Southern landscapes because that's where I was born. I was born in Kentucky, in a little coal mining town in, in Powderly, Kentucky, and, and my daddy was a coal miner, and there was a lot of, I had a lot of brothers and sisters and for him to feed, and so uh, I was adopted when I was four years old and raised in Southern Indiana, right across from Louisville, Kentucky, by a lovely couple, Armin and Essa Best. And, uh, and it was during the Depression. They couldn't afford me, really. And uh, it, 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 times were hard, but, <laughs> but we laughed and giggled because we didn't know we were poor, because everybody else was, too. So I wrote a play called Hellbent for Good Times. It, it's a bittersweet comedy. And uh, my wife produced it, and we did it in five or six different cities. And we got standing ovations every time. So I was encouraged enough to write a movie called Hellbent for Good Times. And, uh, Nobody has seen this. Now, you'll be the first ones to really see this other than the people who paid for a theater ticket. And we did put it on video, and, I, and I'm going to uh, put it on this tape for you to enjoy. And I hope you do, and I hope you let me know if you liked it. This is Peggy Stewart and I in a scene called Hellbend for Good Time.
always did and always will. <laughs> I shut it, didn't I? <laughs> did you hear it? <laughs> but God, look at that. I did it, didn't I? <laughs> did it make you happy? Of course it made me happy. Well, that's right. I got chills when you said that. Did it? <laughs> My daughter goes with uh, Michael Damien when you see him on Young and Restless, and she was producing, uh, Michael wants to direct, and he was going to direct a little thing that he had written, and uh, so they asked if I'd come to California and do it, and so I went out and did it, and it's called Finders Keepers. This is the actual mask that we used in a movie called Death Mask. Uh, it's a movie that I wrote and that my uh, wife and uh, my daughter, my wife Dorothy and uh, my daughter Janine Best were the executive producers of it. And it was directed by uh, uh, Steve Ladshaw, who's now in California. And uh, we had a wonderful, a wonderful time on the picture. We, it is a semi-serious thriller, and uh, I, we're going to show you a few clips of it. We're very proud of this because this is formed. We formed a company called Best Friend Films, and it was just that. It was formed by friends and relatives of ours. Everybody uh, went to the hip and, and and threw in a few bucks until we raised enough money to shoot this little picture. So we shot it. Part of it was in our home, part of it was uh, on locations and everything, and we had the original uh, signs from the uh, carnival that were actually used in a carnival that toured the United States and Europe. And uh, I think it's an, a very exciting film. You're going to see a clip of Linnea uh, Quigley, who has done about 40 uh, movies. Uh, they, I guess they were in what you would call the thriller or horror. Uh, gender, and uh, uh, she was considered what they uh, quote, uh, scream queen, and uh, a beautiful lady and a good actress, and she played the, the young lady in the carnival who befriends me. I play a man whose face is scarred on one side very badly from a childhood burn, and uh, who carves these hideous masks in a carnival, and decides he wants to carve something beautiful. He carves this mask. And uh, unfortunately, he releases the evil out of the wood from the mask. And when he gazes into the eyes of those who have tormented him because of his disfigurement, all they see is death from the death mask. Mask of terror. I've kept my integrity, I've kept my honesty, uh, I've kept, uh, I've, I've learned uh, an awful lot. Ho Hollywood, I mean, adversity, I think, uh, t is the best teacher in the world. It's a hard way to learn it, perhaps, uh, but it stays with you. I come out of the Kentucky Hills, the coal mines, 
hitchhiked to New York with 43 cents in my pocket. And I figured, if this old country boy can make it, anybody can. It's just a matter of putting one foot in front of the other. I think the good Lord gave us a, a perfect indication when he gave us two feet. And you learn to run forward very quickly. But when you try to run backwards, you fall on your butt. And I think he's trying to tell us something.